I think you and I are destined to do this forever. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Keep It Comics. As always, I am the host of Keep It Comics, C3. And today is Thursday, so you know yesterday was, was Wednesday, New Comic Book Day. So we've got a pretty decent haul for you guys today. So the first thing I want to do is thank each and every one of my new subscribers and thank each and every one of you who have stuck with me through the thick and thin that has continued to help me build this channel. Alright? The second thing I want to do is apologize for that video that I put out last week because it wasn't of the greatest of quality. Uh, I've moved some things around in the studio and I'm trying to figure these angles out. So I appreciate everybody's patience with me. Thank you very much. It means a lot, you know, as I troubleshoot this situation I got going on around me. All right. So we're going to jump into this video. I'm excited about the haul. Got a lot of new books. Went and picked up a couple of things that was recommended to me by the community. So you know the routine, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. So every time I do a video... You guys will get alerted to the fact that CT has dropped another joint. Alright? So, like I promised you, the first thing we're going to do today is the subscriber shout out. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I got my own echo system going on now, right? My own surround system. <laughs> so, we're going to go with the first shout out, and that is Uncanny George. Uncanny George. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We appreciate you, and we hope we don't disappoint. All right? The next subscriber is Mark DeMeo. Mark DeMeo. How are you, Mark? Thank you very much for the subscription. We appreciate you. We hope we don't disappoint. Welcome to Keep It Comics. Next subscriber is Mike Four Does, or is it Mike Four Does? Mike Four Does? Or Mike Four Does. Mike Four Does. D O Z. Mike Four Does. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it. Yo, we run into some very unique names when we're doing this subscriber shout out. Uh, shout out to everybody who thought of their own name and came up with something very unique and something different, man, because to me, it is the most significant part of looking into the chat in the comment section and seeing all these different names, man. So, and that's what I did. I tried to come up with something that was different, that was unique, that would catch your attention. So shout out to those of you who uh, who donned that, that beautiful originality, you know? <laughs> like this one right here. Shout out to Big L Bo. <laughs> Big L Bo. Welcome to the Keep It Comics community. Thank you for the subscription. We appreciate you. Big L Bo. Bo, big L, Bo, we appreciate you. Omega Comics, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Next is Nas Feast. Nas Feast. Nas Feast. N O S F E A S T. Nas Feast. I think I spoke to you a couple of times in the comment on another channel. How you doing? I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. All right? So, we have more subscribers that we want to shout out. But what we're going to do is we're going to transition into the comic books. And then we'll double back and shout out some more folks. All right? How does that sound? Sounds like a plan. So, let's do it. The first book I want to show you is one that was recommended to me by a member of the community. And that is Suicide Squad Get Joker. Issue number one. Suicide Squad, Hit Joker, issue number one. Glad I did grab it, man. This is a beautiful book, beautiful cover. The artwork on the inside is enchanting. I don't want to damage it, but look at that, man. If you can see that, love that. Excited. Definitely excited about reading this one, catching up on it. I'm going to put that down there because that's a big baby and I don't want to destroy it. I don't want to damage it. All right. Next book I grabbed is coming from Aftershock Comics, which was recommended by Robbie over there at Robbie Rants. Big up, Robbie. Is God 
God of Tremors, and this is issue number one. One book, one shot. God of Tremors. So he recommended this book. He said it was a great read, so I wanted to see what it was about. I was glad I was able to find a copy of it. God of Tremors. One shot from Aftershock Comics. Interesting cover it has on it also. Very interesting cover. Looking forward to diving into that one. And I'll put those there because those are bigger books. All right. So now we're going to dive into our regular size comics. Excuse me as I, <laughs> you know, dust myself off. We're going to grab everything. All right. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The next book I want to show you is coming from IDW, and this is Star Wars, The High Republic Adventures, <laughs> issue number seven. Definitely a beautiful book, one I'm looking forward to reading. I have started catching up on my reading again, so I'm not as backed up as I was before, and this is one of the books that I really enjoy reading. I really enjoyed... Uh, High Republic, but I was also reading High Adventures, too. A lot of people don't sleep on High Adventures because you think it's more of a children's book. There's a lot going on in High Republic Adventures, so don't sleep on it, all right? Next book I grabbed was Black Caravan, The Broken Souls Ballad, and this is the second print. <laughs> Broken Souls Ballad, the second print. Recommended by Comic Elite. The first print, the first issue of the first print was very, very good read. If you like horror, this is some great horror. Uh, so definitely give it a shot. If, you, if you're an individual who likes crazy, uh, and this is gory. So this is out there. So this is like, you know, they, 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 you know, like something's killing the children type of thing. But to the second power. Yeah. <laughs> so check it out. Next book I grab is from um, Aftershock, and this is Ed Bryson's Beyond the Breach. Beyond the Breach. Yo, definitely a good book. Definitely a good book, a good read. Off to a good start. Second issue picks up right where the first one left off. Uh, she's being attacked by someone or something, and... A lot of action, all right? I don't want to spoil it. I definitely want you guys to check it out. A lot of action. The artwork is spot on. Um, yeah, character building is there. Yeah, world building is definitely there. Good start. Beyond the Breach. I think I actually gave one of these away, too. I'm glad I did. Because this is definitely a book that you would want someone else to read. So check it out. Next book I grabbed from Image Comics. Second Chances. Second Chances. I haven't read it yet, but I will read it. Um, I did look through it. It's got black and, black and white artwork in there. Um, I'm okay with black and white artwork as long as the story is fine. As long as it's got a good story in there, I'm cool with it. You know, so it looks good. That's all I can give you on it right now, but I grabbed it. We'll see what it does. You know, because... I favor more these small, these you know, these these independent comics. I, I favor more uh, the story arcs that they're doing rather than the big three. You know, the big three you grab for maybe like first appearances or you know they got something spectacular going on, but their stories haven't been as consistent as these other guys have been. So that's why I grab them. So you know, I see something new out there like this, second chances. I grab it because you never know, you might find something good. You know. All right. The next one I grabbed is The Sumerian, The Man Eaters of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> the Man Eaters of Zimbabwe. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Drop my top. The only reason I grabbed this book. Is because my guy over there at Comic Elite, Drew. Drew hyped this book up. <laughs> Shout out to Sean and Drew at Comic Elite, man. 
I I grabbed this book cause cause Sean just hyped it up. He was like, <laughs> it's got this third and third. <laughs> so I grabbed it. He wasn't lying. Oh boy. I'm not going to say what's in there, but man, like Ragu, it's in there. <laughs> Yo, the man eaters of Zamb Zambola. Yo, check it out. Very, very interesting. All right. Next book I grabbed that I enjoyed reading. Eat the Rich. Eat the Rich by Sarah Gannon. Very, very good start. I like this story. It's different. Um, very intriguing. I'll give you a little concept on it. It's about a girl who met a guy, and this guy's wealthy. She's going to meet the parents. Um, she's very nervous about it. But why it turns out that he's just as freaked out about it, but maybe for different reasons. And... As you get into the story, you find out those reasons. I'm going to leave it there. Eat the Rich. Good story. Love the black cover. There is a, a variant out there, a blank variant of this very cover right here that I started to grab and I didn't. And then after I read it, I started kicking myself in the butt about it. But Eat the Rich is a good book. I'm not saying you have to have it, <laughs> but I'm glad I got it in my collection. Because I could definitely see this going to the to the to the to the screen. This is either going to be something a nice uh, streaming something, or, or or it can even they can even do a good movie on this. You know, very nice. It looks like it's going to be some good horror. All right. And I also grabbed that green variant cover. And that's nice, ladies and gentlemen. I like that green. I like that cover. I like that artwork. Sometimes I buy covers just because of the artwork. Yeah, I do. Let me move these out of the way. We're going to set these down here. Now, before we move on to the next comics, let me just remind everybody that when we hit 500 subscribers, we are going to be giving away this G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, issue number one. That's why it's sitting there. This is going out to someone in the community as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. And what the only thing you have to do to receive this book is, one, be a subscriber to the channel. Two, leave an encouraging comment in the comment section, in the comment section with the hashtag Keep it comics. Now remember, the hashtag keep it comics, as I always say, lets me know that you are interested in receiving the book. Okay? And three, tune in to the new Comic Book Day video to see who will be the recipient of G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, issue number one. All right? It's that simple. No additives, no preservatives. I'm not looking for anything in return. I just want to give this book away. Okay? Now, do me a favor before we move on. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell. That way you don't miss out on your chances to win this book, okay? Now, we're going to move on. We're going to do a couple of more subscriber shout-outs. How about that? That cool? Of course it is. Let's do it, family. All right, so we're going to pick up where we left off, and we're going to shout-out Short Box Bernie. <laughs> Short Box Bernie. What up, homie? I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Short box Bernie. Uh, he's looking like he's got 28 subscribers. Somebody go over there and show him some love, man. Tap him up. Bring him up. Let's pull each other up. Back issue Paulie. <laughs> back issue Paulie. Hey, Paulie. Hey, hey, Paulie. Back issue Paulie. I like that. I like that. Very... Gangster esque. <laughs> That's that person you meet at the uh, you meet at the at the at the at the back issue box and he and, and you get there at the same time and you go, oh, Paulie. Go ahead. Hey. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Have at it. <laughs> back issue Paulie. What up, fam? Danielle Asher. 
Daniel Asher, thank you for the subscription. We appreciate you, Daniel. Uh, we got Eli Gunther. Eli Gunther has subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. I can't tell you enough how I appreciate the subscription, man. It is definitely not easy building a small channel from scratch, right? When we got all these uh, comic book elites around us that have the market somewhat... Uh, monopolized, you know, they go back and forth with each other, and they share one another's uh, subscribers, and they do this, and that, and we got, you know, you got the small fish, like me, like us, you know what I mean, and, you know, we hang out together, we do our thing, we show love, and it's genuine, I could, I could see the, 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 the genuineness in what we do, so with that, I'm cool, man, I can appreciate that, so I'm not looking to get accepted into any big fashion or anything like that, but I'm just having fun doing what I love doing, which is collecting my comics and sharing them with you guys, sharing my love of comics with all of you. So that is good enough for me. And that's why I do things like giveaways, right? So, oh, and speaking of giveaway, last week you guys let me slide up out of here without giving away a book. Let's keep giving away these books, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we're going to make sure we do one at the end of this video. Next up we have Jose Cubed. Jose Cubed. Thank you, Jose. Appreciate the subscription. I hope we don't disappoint you. Leave a comment in the comment section if you like this type of content, Jose. I got a lot of other things going on, too, I'm about to bring to the forefront. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We've got Saber Catify. Saber Catify. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Saber Catify. Thank you. We appreciate you, you know, and I hope we don't disappoint you as well. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And thank you for all the encouragement. I really do appreciate it. All right? Yeah, so that's the second part. Let me take a sip because it's warm up here. <laughs> now, let's jump back into some comics, shall we? Next book I want to grab you is coming from Marvel, and it is Moon Knight, issue number two. Pete Momoko coming. Really enjoy that Momoko artwork. Glad she's doing covers, man. Like, I'm, I'm watching her, and I'm, and I'm paying attention to her craft, and she's, she's getting really, really good at what she's doing, man. I, I like her style. Again, I like that uniqueness about people, you know, where you can look and say, Oh, uh, oh, that's that's C three, you know, or or oh, that's that's um, that's comic, that's Bueller, that's that's Comic Tom, that's Robbie, the uniqueness of it all, like, and you, and you translate that into the artwork, and and you can see it, you can literally see it. Beautiful cover, beautiful cover, very happy to have it. That's definitely going into the artwork section of my collection. And I'm very happy to have it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you check out the little bit of blood she got dripping. <laughs> Just off the uh, the lily there. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe like that flower is, is a type of uh, lily, like a, uh, maybe a calla lily of some sort that is completely opened up. I could be wrong, but it's just beautiful artwork, man. Just beautiful. I like it. Moon Knight, issue number two. And I grabbed another one. Excuse me. But this is that Natiz game variant. <laughs> Moonlight, issue number two. Very flossy. I like that. Very flossy artwork on Moon Knight. Next, from DC, I grabbed Cloud Hunter, issue number one. Clown Hunter, issue number one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to see that he got his own book. He came a long way from Tiny as Batman. And, and, and uh, yeah, he's got his own book now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read it and I'm going to see what he's hitting for. I'm not mad at it. He's a new character. I'll take him. As long as when he pulls that mask off and he's not somebody that's already been in comics. I'd be upset about that. I'm keeping it 100 with you. 
I'd be upset about that. But as long as he's somebody new, I don't care. Like he's some new scrawny kid that was got picked on in high school or whatever, I'm cool with that. But if he's somebody that already exists in comics, I'm going to be highly upset. Because I want new characters. Not old characters being new characters. I want new characters. Yep, Clown Hunter. Ed Bryson. Check it out. Next book I grabbed is also from DC. And it is the second issue of Shazam! <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Gotta have it. Definitely liking my Shazam joint. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Shazam. Watched Captain Marvel since I was a kid, back before they was calling him Shazam. Look, I like him. I love it. Just And, and that's a beautiful cover, too. Looks like he's got himself in quite the pickle. So check it out. Enter Nevermore. Enter Nevermore. So definitely check it out. Excellent cover, too. Next from DC, I grabbed this beautiful cover, man, and, 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 and of Catwoman, issue number 34. Get a load of that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if that ain't a thing of beauty, Catwoman, issue number 34. The way that yellow, orange, and black is just banging, and they got the red lettering at the top with the, oh, man. With the, the W is made out of yellow cat claws. Mate, yo, I'm feeling this cover. I'm really feeling this cover. And you guys know how I feel about my yellow covers. When they're done right, this is what they look like. Very eye-catching, popping, very, they pop. The colors pop off the page. You can almost see, you know, the bats are like really flying back there. Yes, sometimes I buy comics just because I like the artwork. But not for nothing, Catwoman is actually not a bad storyline going on right now, neither. So it's not a bad story in Catwoman, so. But it's just that that cover is just so dope. I like it. Next, we're going back to Marvel. Or well, we're going to Marvel, I should say. And we got Spider Woman, issue number 14. I believe this is cover B. Spider Woman, issue number 14, cover B. I'm hearing there's supposed to be uh, a first appearance of something she's got going on. She's doing something different. She is becoming someone, or someone in her family is becoming someone, whatever. I grabbed it for that purpose. It's a first appearance of something, you know. I grabbed it for that. But when it comes to this particular artwork, so let me tell you, this is the type of collector I am when it comes to artwork. This particular type of artwork, I don't like it. Because it looks like it's computer generated. It looks too computer generated. And it looks very toyish. So I don't really like that type of artwork. That particular type of artwork, I'm not a fan of. I almost left this book on the shelf, right? I went to I went to my LCS, and I saw it on the shelf, and I left it there for that reason. But as the day went on, and I, I kept seeing it, I kept seeing it, and plus, the LCS that I went to the first time, they wanted like $6.99 for it. So I was like, nah, I'm not giving $6.99 for that. But later on that evening... I went to, a, I wound up at, the, at, the, at my last shop of the night, and it was only cover price. So I grabbed it, and you know me. I grabbed another one. <laughs> so I'm darned if I do, I'm darned if I don't. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a first appearance in there. So, you know, <laughs> excuse me. So I, I, I grabbed it. <laughs> That's all I can say, folks. I grabbed it, you know. I grabbed it. <laughs> I'm guilty. I admit it. Not a big fan of it, but I grabbed it. Move these out of the way. The next book I grabbed was Kane the Conqueror, issue number one, that peaceful local cover. 
beauty. Just a thing of beauty. I like it. I like it. Really enjoyed Loki. I was explaining to one of my homies at the shop yesterday that I'm not that big on King the Conqueror. I really don't have too much uh, knowledge about him. But, you know, they was explaining to me who he is, where he came from. You know, he's a time traveler. He likes to manipulate things and to go in his way, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So I grabbed the book. So I'm going to read this book and see if I can get a little better understanding of who King the Conqueror was. Because I noticed how at the end of Loki, when everybody realized that uh, the the individual who was at the end, and everybody's excited. I'm like, eh, why is everybody so excited? I'm, I'm starting to get it now, right? So that means I got to do some reading and I got to catch up. So <laughs> don't worry, guys, I'll get there. I'll get there. But King the Conqueror, man. That Peach Momoko cover. Definitely a thing of beauty. Next up, one of my favorite reads. Black Cat. Issue number nine. Black Cat. Going against Star. Very, very good book. Light, fluffy. I like it, you know? It's not asking too much of me. Just sit down, read, chuckle a little bit, laugh. My wife thinks I'm crazy. It's all good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Black Cat. The artwork is on point. Definitely. Just pops off the page. Just excites you to read it. You're, and when you get to the end of the book, you're like, oh, it's over already. Shoot. You know, so good good book to read, guys. Good book. Next up, we have Star Wars, The Bounty Hunter. War of the Bounty Hunter. Definitely another good book. Uh, Boba Fett faces off against uh, Chewbacca in this one right here. Princess Leia put the hit out on put the hit out on Boba. <laughs> but yo, it goes down pretty cool in here, man. So check it out. Definitely a good fight. They find themselves in a sticky situation. Lord Vader, he ain't playing no games, man. Lord Vader, he, he's he's coming for blood. And he's claiming everything as his own. Everything belongs to the Empire. You talk about you own you uh one of the characters says, well, I own this, and I want him in this, and I, I this is ours. This is, Vader says, nothing here belongs to any of you. It all belongs to the Empire. <laughs> I love Vader, yo. He's a beast. <laughs> oh, this next comic, man, this next comic, oh, I just got to show it to you. Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 17, man. How beautiful is that? That is just adorable. That is an adorable comic. And, and, and again, I think that's that uh, that's that Natiz game variant. Man, that's beautiful. There were quite a few variants out there for Guardians of the Galaxy, but that's the one that grabbed me, man. That grabbed me, and, and I couldn't I couldn't shake it. I had to get it. And I love Group, man. I'm a big Group fan. I'm a big Group fan. I love Group. I am Group. So I grabbed another cop. Of course I did. You know I did. There was, there was, there was no way around it. I had to grab it. Beautiful cover. Don't know what's going on in the story. <laughs> but I love that cover, though. I, maybe I'll pop it open and check it out. I might have to grab another one because I don't want to get any more fingerprints on this one. I've already cleaned them off and put them in my large. So I'll probably grab another copy and read it and find out what's going on, but I love that cover. Very, very nice cover. And last, but definitely not least, ladies and gentlemen, before we do, we want to say some more subscriber shout-outs. Alright? So, before I show you guys this last book, we have to shout-out Gregory Gregory Louis, Louisville. Gregory Louisville. Shout-out to Gregory Louisville for subscribing to the channel. Thank you, homie. I appreciate the love. I appreciate you watching. I know you must have stumbled across us some kind of way. So thank you very much, man. Welcome to the Keep It Comics community. Gregory Louisville. All right? Thank you very much. Uh, we've got XX Harris. It's XX Harris, or if you're reading Roman numerals, it's 1010 Harris, or it's 20 Harris. Either way, I'm seeing X's and Harris. Welcome to the channel. We appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Next up, we have YouTube Vat. <laughs> YouTube Vat. YouTube Vat. Like YouTube 
VAC, like vacuum or vaccine or YouTube VAC, V-A-C-C. Welcome to the channel, YouTube VAC. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for your thank you very much for your subscription. Thank you to each and every one of all of our new subscribers. Let's welcome our, all our new subscribers to the channel and show our appreciation and make them feel real comfortable with being here. Somebody shout somebody out in the comment section. Say hello. Say welcome. Just well, just wish some wellness on the other individual. Show some love, you know. So, and let me show you guys this last comic before we get out of here, okay? The last comic that I picked up was Miles Morales. <laughs> featuring Emulet. Miles Morales. Spider-Man. Keep your eye on this guy. Keep your eye on these comics. Don't sleep on these comics. They're doing something with Miles Morales. They are going to bring Miles to the forefront. And it's not going to take as long as people think it's going to take. When he pops, holy smokes. Whether you know it or not, this is this generation's, that younger generation, this is their Spider-Man. This is their Spider-Man. Like our Spider-Man is Peter Parker. Miles Morales is their Spider-Man. And oh boy, wait. Wait till little Johnny grows up to be CEO of whatever company and he wants that childhood book that he uh, grew up to and 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 it's he's willing to pay 30 40,000 for it in a 9.8 just watch that's how it happens watch what I tell you all right but look before we go ladies and gentlemen again like subscribe ring the bell this is the type of content we share over here it's new comic book day we show our love for comics and to the community by just hanging out with each other and talking about books. We want to do a giveaway. And what do we want to give away? Let's give away Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and leave an encouraging comment in the comment section. We're going to give this book away. All right? With the hashtag Keep It Comics. Leave an encouraging comment in the comment section with the hashtag Keep It Comics. And somebody's gonna win this comic book uh, come New Comic Book Day next week. Alright? It's simple. That's as simple as it is. You have to be a subscriber to the channel. You have to leave an encouraging comment with the hashtag Keep It Comics. And you have to tune in next week to find out who's gonna win this book. Miles Morales Spider Man featuring Amulet. And this is an annual. Alright, so check it out. Issue number one, Miles Morales. Could be a big book one day, you don't know. But other than that, Miles is a great read. It's a great story. Got a lot going on in there. They're just coming off that clone saga stuff too, so very good book to have. Alright, so there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Those are the comics that I picked up for New Comic Book Day. I hope you saw something you liked. If, by chance, there was anything that I missed, just hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. There's a strong possibility that I'll double back and grab it. All right? So I got to get out of here. Yeah, it's pretty hot up here. But we made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. And once again, thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to the whole Keep It Comics community as we continue to grow and support one another. I can't express enough to you guys how much I love and respect each and every one of you. Thank you. All right? So you know what I always say. Don't hate. Congratulate. Show some love, because that don't cost you nothing, ladies and gentlemen. But no matter what you do, always keep it coming. Keep it.